May 1787, Philadelphia. It's now or never for the anything but United States of America. If they don't come up with a constitution to establish a functioning central government, the new nation will most certainly implode. The states send 55 delegates to a constitutional convention to repair the woefully inadequate Articles of Confederation. There are all kinds of questions about what's going to be the direction for this new nation. And you can't have 13 different answers, you need to have one answer. These men are charged with nothing less than devising a whole new system of government. The one thing they can agree on is to keep the proceedings secret, to ensure candor and allow a full range of argument. Among the group are both new and old faces, including the most revered man in America. Washington is the presiding chairman, the president of the Constitutional Convention. His presence is very important for the legitimacy of this new Constitution. The last thing George Washington wanted to do after eight grueling years of war was leave his beloved Mount Vernon home. At 55, he is tempted to rest on his laurels, but he is keenly aware that all his efforts could be undone if government doesn't change. I think Washington is nervous about what's going to happen to the country if they don't have a new form of government. He has a national vision of America. That's why he's important to be in that room. There are other visions in the room. Alexander Hamilton from New York is a brilliant 32-year-old war veteran and attorney. Benjamin Franklin, the great negotiator, now old, frail, but ever wise and reliable, joins the Pennsylvania delegation. Among the missing are two of the revolution's most forceful voices, John Adams and Thomas Jefferson, who are serving as foreign ministers in England and France. Adams and Jefferson just, I think, are frantic with the fact that a new government's being written about and they're not there. In their place, the man with the plan, the Virginia plan, is James Madison, a 36-year-old career politician from Virginia. Madison knew this moment would come and has spent years formulating a new governing structure. 